Hello, uh, I'm going to show you today how to set up the HoloLens development kit and Unity. Um, I'm not going to go through the actual setup of the device because there are other videos on that. This is purely about Unity, Visual Studio, um, the Holo HoloLens emulator, um, the HoloTool kit pa Unity package which you, you probably will need at some stage. Um, very useful. So yeah let's get to it um this is a new install of windows 10 so you know don't go thinking you know this guy's got it already installed so he's probably got a different configuration it's going to be just like yours probably at home um it's very bare at the moment I've, I've only installed like google chrome um you know it's pretty bare so hopefully um it will go smooth and it'll be a short tutorial but if not i'm sorry um because this is the first recording i've done in a while so uh let's get to it let's let's go to the uh this web page that i'll show you now give me a second oh, okay pull that to one side and let's just type in whole lens download And I will try and include all the links in the description. Excuse me. So if we go down here, um, the reason I wanted to sh do this tutorial is like you go you go on here and it's like oh I don't know what to install to be honest. Like there's so many different um, different little packages and SDKs and it's like okay where do I start? So what you want to the bare basic setup is Visual Studio 17. Um, don't really need your emulator, but it's always good to have. Um, and we want to get Unity 5.5 uh, F3. So anything above that will support the HoloLens um, more likely than not. So I'm going to go ahead and download all these three. Okay. That is downloading. That's one done. Let's get the emulator and Unity. Sorry, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm currently on a HoloLens project, so it will help if we're just all on the same page. Um, I think it's this one. Make sure you get the Unity installer and not some 64-bit uh, EXE which probably won't go through the um, the dependencies that you need like the backend.net uh, scripting package. So I'm just going to go on that. So for now, just have these three things downloaded, okay? All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is install Visual Studio 2017. So before we do anything, we need to put ourselves in developer mode. So let's go to start, uh, type in system, not system, sends the one and update and security and go down for developers on the left and then just select developer mode uh, it'll ask you just say yes and this should allow us to run stuff in debug mode uh, etc it's just it is important when installing Visual Studio uh, just give it a second all right so now that that's done let's go back to our files and let's run the visual studio community setup all 
Alright, so when you get this little pop up, you want to make sure the game development with Unity is selected and the Universal Windows Platform development is selected. Alright, so go ahead and click install. And now we wait. So it will prompt you to reboot, so I'll reboot and see you in a minute. Alright, so now we've restarted, let's go to the Unity file. And run that. Yep, the 5.6.1 F1 that I've downloaded, you might have something else. Um, as long as it supports the holographic stuff, that's great. 64-bit, uh, of course. And this is what you get with the uh, Download Assistant. Um, you get a list of choices, so if you want to build to Android as well, go ahead and do it now. So um, I'm going to do that. You Don't do that at the moment, because you probably won't even want an Android. This is just me. Um, so the one that you really need is this Windows Store.net scripting backend. So you want to get that. And that should be it. Um, if there's anything else, just get it now. All right. So, oh yeah, and the example project. You might want to get that because it's got some um, cool stuff in there. Uh, I'm not going to, but yeah, let's go ahead. All right, so we've installed Unity. Uh, I'm not going to launch it. I'm going to finish that off. There's a couple of things we need to do before we install the emulator. So go ahead and reboot your PC and enter the BIOS settings. So when you're in there, go to Intel Virtualization Technology and enable it and then make sure you save your configuration. And the next step is to go to the control panel, go to programs and features, in the top left turn Windows features on or off, and then make sure that Hyper-V is checked. When it's finished, go ahead and restart now. Right, I'm going to select the top one, um, the send anonymous data, uh, I don't want to do that, and I'll accept these terms. Um, let's just install both, why not? Alright, so once you've got that done, you should get a message with Welcome to the Microsoft HoloLens emulator. So go ahead and close. And that should be it. Alright guys, thanks for following along with the tutorial. Uh, I hope to see you in part two, where we're going to start a new Unity project. We're going to install the Holo Toolkit, create our first app, and then deploy onto the device or the emulator. So all that good stuff. See you in part two.